Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And um, real pleasure on behalf of uh, IBM to uh, co-host this event uh, this afternoon. Uh, also, if you want to go and see a quantum computer, you can go down the road and see the IBM quantum computer in our, in our um, gallery down the road. Um, a real pleasure here to be here. Um, Bloomberg have given me uh, precisely nine minutes to predict something about the year ahead. This is my 14th Davos, and I know the capacity for experts at Davos to be precisely wrong about the year ahead is almost I I immeasurable. So with that, if you want to carry on eating and listen to nothing else I say, it's absolutely fine. But no, what I th want to talk about is maybe three things that I think we can rely on to some extent over this, over this next 12-month uh, period. The first of them linking back actually to some of the comments that Satya made, is I believe, the, uh, we believe that every company this year will have the potential to become a platform company. That actually how every organization is going to take advantage of the 80% of data that is still unsearchable, that's still inside our own organizations. How we're going to be able to leverage the expertise that we have in our organizations and most importantly take advantage of the fact that all the technologies we've been talking about here at Davos over the past few years are now ready for prime time, whether it's AI, automation, blockchain, IoT, 5G, the edge, all these technologies now converging and mean that we have an opportunity uh, in any organization to create a platform which will define your competitive or comparable advantage once more. And that's why in some of our research just a year ago, we did our C-suite study, we called it the incumbent strike back because the potential for all of our organizations to take advantage of this and indeed to ally and partner with the new, new players is massive around this. And I think that this year we're going to see this move from people designing these new platform businesses for themselves to really starting to bring them to life. And in a shameless plug, uh, we are going to be talking this, uh, launching today our latest uh, research on something we're calling the cognitive enterprise and it's about building the cognitive enterprise because we believe these new business models that we're describing are becoming now real. We'll be launching later this week with, with Yara uh, talking about the platform that they have built, a fertilizer company now creating a platform to become a farming and agronomic information company, all targeted at the whole topic of sustainable farming. It's that kind of idea about organizations, yes, building platforms inside their four walls, but also thinking how they can straddle industries and play a bigger part. So that, I think, is something we think is going to definitely be a focus this year. And under the covers of that, as people start to build these new platforms, there are going to be a lot of focus on how we can really use these technologies I've been talking about to transform the intelligent workflows that underpin them. What I would call business re-engineering on steroids is now about to come through again. The opportunity to now use these technologies just completely transform the economics of a process in an organization to deliver more value, take cost out, and think about what that means for the expertise of the organization as it's transformed across that value chain. And the, thir the third component of that is what we think of as being the enterprise experience and the humanity of the organizations we're talking about. Because although the world I'm describing is very, very technology rich and very, very technology dense, we fundamentally have a strong view that it's going to be the humans wrapped around that technology that are going to be still a source of differentiation. And at, at the heart of it, therefore, experience is going to matter still. Experience may be indeed the word of Davos this year, one of the words of Davos this year, where we start to think about the ability to move from a customer experience that's informed by a really great employee experience that's informed by the enterprise experience. And I suspect that, in fact, Jen, talking later from, uh, from, from SAP, may talk about experience just a bit. So um, a, a bit of a plug for you there, Jen, for later on. Um, but we think this area is going to be a really, really important piece of it. So that's the first thing, therefore, is platforms are going to become um, a possibility for all organizations. The second thing is this, this, this theme of data and trust is going to be a really important theme this year. Last year, in fact, last year's C-suite study, which spoke to 13,000 C-suite leaders around the world, you know, and, indeed, uh, and indeed consumers as well, you know, talked about the issue of data and trust. 
And it was interesting that, you know, first of all, you know, of the consumers we spoke to, some 80% were starting to question the use of their data by the organisations they were giving them to and starting to recognise the fact that they really looked for where they were comfortable to give their data to organisations that had transparency about how they're going to use that data. So we think the themes of transparency, reciprocity, accountability for data are going to be really huge. And linked to that is going to be the whole issue of regulation in this space. And I think again this year we can expect to see more regulation. Again, the same study, 90% of the leaders we spoke to expected more regulation around data and around access to data and privacy and security this year coming along. We can start to see it happening around the patch. And we in IBM have a strong point of view that the opportunity, we have to seize an opportunity for some degree of precision regulation around things like data, online content, the use of facial recognition technologies, etc. So I think we can expect a lot around that coming forward. And the third and last big theme I think this year is going to be the theme of sustainability. It's in, it's in the, the, the theme of, of Davos, of course, this year, but I think we can see it, feel it coming back. I've, I've been somebody who says it's been coming now for, since 2002 to Davos, and sustainability has been in some form or shape on the agenda throughout that whole period. But it's coming back, and we see something more of a tipping point around it. Again, we did some research, which we launched at the NRF in New York just last week, around talking, again, to consumers about their sense around, around this whole topic. And it was quite clear that some 75% of the about 19,000 consumers from 28 countries we spoke to were saying that they were now thinking about um, the sustainability, the environmental footprint of the organisations they were buying products from as part of their choices. That 60% of them would change their buying habits through to understanding something about the brand and what those organisations were doing about it. And in fact, that one third had already stopped buying products from those organisations that they felt were not acting along the right lines of sustainability. So we can see a tipping point around consumer. Now, it doesn't mean that some of the bigger issues we're going to talk about here around the impact of macro climate uh, are not still bigger issues to, to deal with. I must admit I was somewhat depressed this morning to sit in on the energy, an energy forum discussion that talked about the fact that you know, far, far from being in a world of energy transition, we're still in a world of energy addition whereby we've, we're adding more fossil fuels to the mix rather than the renewables that we're taking out. So there's an awful long way to go around the bigger picture here. Uh, but I think in terms of how consumers can start to drive that and therefore our organisations can drive it, it's going to be really important. So I think as, well, you know, certainly, uh, again, on behalf of IBM, you know, we're delighted uh, to have a chance to host you. Our main focus this year is going to be around trusted innovation to solve the world's biggest challenges. We think that includes everything from, yes, of course, fostering trust in the technology and how it's going to impact all of our lives. We think it's about preparing society to thrive off the back of all these technologies. It's about real inclusivity about the way these technologies uh, come out, and it's finally about doing all of this in a way that protects the planet. So anyway, I wish you all a great Davos. Thanks very much.